Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to make another video on PLLs and how to do a Y perm with the right finger tricks. So let's get into it. So the Y perm looks like this, where there is these two bars right here and right here. And then these two edges need to be swapped and so do these two corners so it looks like the shape of a Y, which is why it's called the Y perm obviously. And it is a fairly quick one, but it does combine two OLLs and the first OLL goes like this. That's an OLL if you have the square right here and then two bars right there. And then the second OLL is a sexy move then a sledgehammer and it goes like this. And that's how you do the Y perm. So it's basically just two OLLs combined. And now let's get into the algorithm. So if you're new to how I do these PLL finger trick videos, then I do the algorithm first, then I do the finger tricks, and then I tell you why you should use it and what um, finger tricks that you should use and why they're important. And I have many videos on PLLs on my channel and I have a playlist that will be linked in the description below. So let's start with the algorithm. It goes just like this. And some people use this algorithm for two by two for swapping two corners. It's the most common because EPERM doesn't work on two by two because of the UD moves and neither does the V perm. So we're left with the Y perm and it works pretty well. It's decently quick. So let's get into the algorithm. It goes just like this. And these are not the right finger tricks. These are just the algorithm. And then later I'll do the finger tricks. La. Uh, so that's the algorithm. It goes just like that. And now we'll go into the finger tricks. So the finger tricks are like this, and it's kind of a little regrip. But there isn't too many regrips because they're mainly just F, R, and U moves. So now let's go over the finger tricks. And you start it in this position just like this. And it isn't too hard because you use R, U, and F moves just like a T perm. And a T perm is basically the opposite of this. So you go like this when doing the finger tricks. You put your right hand like this and your left hand like this. And while you're putting this hand right here, the first algorithm isn't too hard. It's just typical finger tricks. You need to bring this down like that, and you need to put your right hand up like this. So you're ready to do that sexy move, just like that. And then your sledge should go like that. So a little bit quicker, it would go like this, left hand, right hand. And while you're doing that, you need to put your right hand like this so you can do your sexy move and then your sledgehammer. And that's how you do the Y perm finger tricks. So the Y perm isn't terribly slow, but it's definitely not very fast either because it's just two combined algorithms and it swaps uh, diagonal corners. But some people can do it very fast. And why it's important is because if you don't do it fast, then it will make your times go down a lot. But there isn't really any finger tricks that aren't standard. So most of these finger tricks are very easy to memorize on the Y perm. And they're very standard also when you do your F moves. Just like that. And then you need to make sure when you do the sexy move and then the sledgehammer, you go like that because then it will make it easier. So when you do your sexy move and your sledgehammer, you need to grip it like that, just like you do in a T perm. So again, we'll go like this. Then you need to go like that. So that's basically the only main finger trick when you're doing your sexy move and then your sledgehammer. That's one of the main ones, but otherwise it's pretty easy to execute the Y perm. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video on how I taught you guys how to do the Y perm with the right finger tricks. If you have any other questions, please put them down in the comment section below. And if you have any comments or if you like the video, please give it a fist bump and a like. So the playlist 
will be linked in the description of the other PLOs, so you guys can make sure to check that out if you haven't already. And please be sure to subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time.